Hello, everybody. This is Mr. K1. Hello, my dear students and respected parents. I'm back with another grammatical video. In this grammatical video, I'm going to talk about how do we use the word wish. But first of all, I would like to talk about something else. I know we've been through the toughest time ever, and distant learning using these online videos is not as effective as we're doing in the class, but the best alternative right now we have is this one. Try to make the most of your time, please, and watch these videos carefully, attentively, because these are we are making this for you. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you could get, a, get benefit from these videos if you use them correctly and accurately. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how do we use wish. So the question is, how do we use and how and wh when we do do we use wish to talk uh, the word wish we use wish when we talk about situations or event that you would like to be different you don't want to be the way it is you want to be different or it's like expressing your regret your regret not your regret about doing something about your current situation and you want to be you wish to be different than it is right now for example let's move directly to the examples that we have for example the first image that we have look at that look at the let's say a boy that is uh, is not tall he is not tall and he's saying this sentence i wish i was taller i wish i was taller why he's saying this sentence because he's not tall his situation is like he's not tall so he is using trying to the word wish in this way i wish i was taller look at the first sen uh, second sentence that we have look at that yeah, i think that girl is sitting on the bench wishing that she could try she could fl uh, fly but do we really can can fr fly no we can't do it so in that case we have to use wish about something they want to like to be different you're not bird or not uh, airplanes to, uh, that uh, that's able to fly so in that case you say i wish i could fly so from this you can learn that we after wish we should have a past action past simple and you learn what is past simple before we study that so after wish we have to have past simple yes past tenses so i wish i was taller i was is past simple yes i wish i could fly i could fly is past simple so after wish we should have past simple look at that man he is afraid of heights heights uh, so in that case he's afraid of heights you see from the image look at what he said i wish i wasn't afraid of heights so his real situation of this man is that he's afraid of heights so he's trying to use wish to in a, in hoping of that his situation is going to be different uh, from now from the way it is look at that he's afraid of it's clearly it's quite clear from the image and you can notice that so he said i wish i wasn't afraid of heights the last image that we have so from the image you can easily understand how do you we use the word wish look it's raining quite clear yeah? it's from the pictures and that man is running i think it's going to work so i wish it wasn't raining but in fact the situation it's raining yes so that man wished to be the situation is different and what so we were which was it wasn't raining so he wishes to, it wasn't raining but in, in fact it's actually it's raining so in that case he wishes it was not raining but it's raining so we use wish to talk about a situation that you'd like to be different than the way it is it's like they're expressing you the feeling of regret about the situation the current the situation the strength that we have right now so let me give you more examples in order to be more clear and understandable look at this uh, situation so more example about on using wish for example we have a fag like this we don't leave by sea this is the fact this is our situation but we wish to be different in another way look if we want to change if we want to use wish for this sentence we have to say it in this way we have to put wish in the sentence i wish we lived by the sea we said after wish we should have past simple past simple subject verb ed verb past yes so i wished we lived by the sea we have the verb leave 
by the sea. But in fact, in reality, do we really live by the sea? No, the fact that we only wish to be our situation is different through living by the sea. So this is how we use wish. I wish we lived by the sea. Okay, another sentence, another fact. This is the fact that you can't change it, but uh, we want to use wish for this sentence, all right? It rains all the time in this country. It rains all the time in this country. Let's use wish. My mom wishes it didn't rain all the time in this country. My mom is singular, so you have to add ES to wish, yes? Add ES to wish. Why? Because my mom is singular, is one person. So you have to add wishes. Wishes after wishes, we should have what? Past simple. We studied that. I, uh, I talked about that one in the previous slide. So my mom wishes it didn't rain all the time in this country. So basically you have to once again go back to the past simple, use it after wish. So my mom wishes it didn't rain all the time in the country. So the sentence, the fact we have is uh, positive, yes? But when we want to change it to transform it to, uh, to a sentence that, that looks dreamy, yes? Through using the word wish, in that case, you have to change it to negative through using didn't. My mom wishes it didn't rain all the time in this country. Okay, so if the sentence is positive, the fact is positive, you have to change it to negative while using wish. But if the fact, like the first sentence that we have, we don't leave by say this sentence, it's present simple, yes, because we have don't. And it is also a negative because we have don't. If we want to use wish in exam, I might ask you use wish for this sentence. So first, you know, it's negative. So we have to change it to positive in while using wish and change it to past simple. I wish we lived by the sea. Second sentence, it rains all the time in the country. It is positive because we don't have don't and doesn't or not. So in that case, you have to change it to negative in order to show that the situation would like to be different. But in fact, it's raining all the time in this country. My mom wishes it didn't rain all the time in this country. Okay, second, uh, third sentence. I don't have enough money to go to the cinema. I don't have enough money to go to the cinema. This is the fact. I can't do anything about it. If I ask you use wish to this sentence, you have to check the sentence. The sentence is negative and we have don't, yes? So in that case, you have to change it to, while using wish, you have to change it to positive and use past simple. I wish have is going to be what? Had. I wish I had enough money to go to the cinema. But do I, do I have enough money to go to cinema? No. The fact is no, I don't have enough money to go to the cinema. So when we change it to wish, I wish I had enough money to go to cinema. So how are you going to change it? It's negative, you have to change it to positive while using wish. Okay, another sentence, I don't speak French. This is the fact, I only speak Kurdish and English. I don't speak French. How do we change this sentence uh, to when we use wish? This is how you're gonna change it. First, it's negative, we have don't. So in that case, you have to change it to positive when we use wish. So I wish I spoke French, or you can say I wish I could speak French. But in fact, I couldn't speak French, yes? I couldn't sp uh, I, I, I didn't speak French. This is the fact, I don't speak French. So in that case, when we, mentioned, we want to change, you have to change it to positive and change the verb to the past action. I wish I spoke French. Okay, the last sentence that we have, once again, it is negative. Why? I can't play the guitar. That's a negative sentence. I can't. So in that case, it shows that your inability, that you can't play the guitar. You are incapable of playing the guitar. So we, if we want to change this sentence to a sentence that you want to use wish, in that case, you're trying to express your regrets about not playing the guitar, not being able to play the guitar, and you have to change it in, the, in this way. I wish I could play the guitar. So in that case, can't is going to be could, but in a positive way. Because you know what? You want to change the opposite side of the sentence. I wish I could play the guitar. But in fact, you can't play the guitar. This is all about the, word, the usage of wish. Simple, easy. It's like a piece of cake. Just know that the fact that after which we have to use past simple, past actions. If we have a singular subject, you have to add ES to uh, the wishes, like my mom wishes. 
So if we have a fact and you want to change it to wish, you want to use wish for that sentence. If the sen the fact sentence that we have, factual sentence do we have is negative, you have to change it to positive and use past action while using wish. If the factual sentence that we have it's positive, when uh, while you're changing to the a sentence using wish, you have to change it to positive and then use the past action. My last note for you, do the exercise of page 86 and 87 in grammar book. Please do this exercise because it really, really helps you to understand the lecture better and easier through doing that exercise in your grammar book. And remember, in family book, we also have the page 116. There's an exercise about how I'm using wish, about the exercise, uh, there's a space, blank spaces you're going to use. And that's all about the wish. I hope you get understand, get understood from these lectures. Um, using wish is simply easy, don't get confused. confused. Uh, that's all, thank you very much.